Hi, so this is my first video. Um, I didn't really know what to do, but I didn't just want to do a few second things, so I thought I would do my makeup. Um, nothing too much, I'm just going to do a gender fluid flag theme with spider webs given by a friend of mine. Um, I'll put some photos up there of what I'm using as inspiration and let's get started. Okay, so I've got everything set up here. This is like on a bit of a height, so bear with. Um, I'm gonna start off with this pink colour. It's like a medium pink. I might put some photos up, I'm not sure yet. Um, and the way I'm gonna do it is pink and white and then a bit of the purple in each inner corner then black and blue to represent the flag now I am not the best at makeup at all there is definitely people way better than me but I'm not exactly the worst either Yes, there's always going to be people better than you, but, oh well. Now, my eyeshadow isn't that pigmented, but it will do. I don't really know what to talk about, so a lot of it's probably going to be rambling on or silence. I'll probably put some background music in so it's not like awkward or anything. But if you've seen my short then you'll know that i have wanted to do a channel for a while now um i don't really know how the idea came to me i guess just watching people growing up on youtube has just sparked my interest it always seemed like really fun to do difficult and hard work but fun so here i am I don't know what type of stuff I'll be posting or how frequently I will be posting but I've got to start somewhere and this is where I'm starting. Again, I didn't really want to do just like a quiet few second video of being like hi new channel and have it as that so I decided to do this. Makeup is something I like so I thought it would help. Now, the white I'm using isn't exactly white, it's more shiny than anything and it might not show up that well, especially on my phone. But in the mirror and in person you can kind of see heavily the sparkle, but you can kind of see the um, white as well, which is good enough for me. I am using my finger with the white because it applies a little easier. I don't know if that's the case with anyone else, but sometimes using brush it's a lot harder to try and get the pigment. Now, if you have any ideas of anything I can do for a video, um, if there's any questions you have, feel free to comment because I would love to do a Q&A um, eventually. Um, if there's any ideas you want me to do, like makeup wise, just let me know and I will see what I can do. Like I said, this look is my own, but I asked a friend of mine to give me some ideas and they said to do a gender fluid flag because I wanted to do something goffy to match my style but also something pride themed because it is colourful and it has just been pride month so I thought it seemed very fitting. Um, and then I wanted to keep the eyeliner in so they said spider webs if it wasn't too hard and I think it'll be easy enough. Okay so I've just cleaned up the eyeshadows that I've done so far. 
cleaned like the edges up and stuff and now I'm going in with the purple which I'm doing darker than what the flag initially is but I feel like the light one that I have won't show up much if at all so I thought it would just be better to trust myself and go with the darker version Now I am kind of just constantly using my finger now because it seems to apply a lot easier than the brush. Okay, this is how it's looking so far. I don't think it's that bad. I always seem to struggle with the inner corners though when it comes to this type of makeup where I'm using multicolors. I'll put a photo up there. I did pan um, the pantechnical flag a while ago and I struggle so much with the inner corners, it is unbelievable. Um, but it doesn't look too bad and I am happy with it. So I'm gonna move on to the other eye, which I'm gonna do purple corner again, black and then the blue. So I will be back once I have applied the purple. Okay, I've done the purple on the other side. So now it is for the black and then just the blue. There will probably be a lot of cuts. I don't have the best storage and I don't wanna end up running out. Editing and voiceover Georgia here. Um, just wanted to let you know that I genuinely struggle to try and talk whilst doing my makeup. It was hard for me to do both, which will explain a lot of the silences. Now, the colours I may use might be a little off, but I'm just using what I have. And I will show the palettes in the well nearer the end on which ones I'm using and the colours inside them. Um, this might not be that entertaining to watch, I am aware of that. It's not the best quality, not the best area, not the best sound, lighting, all that stuff. But, like I say, I am freshly starting. It's not like... I can instantly start amazingly, so I just hope that this can reach the right people and people will actually like this and enjoy it and help me grow and then my content can get better and better and hopefully this can be a thing for me. Okay, the eye makeup is done, so now I just have to do the eyeliner which I will do off camera because eyeliner is quite difficult um, and is can be time consuming and then I will come back and start the spider webs. Okay, the eyeliner is now done. I messed up a bit on that one but it's okay. And I am now going to do the spider web. I am quite nervous for it but my goal is to have it like around that area. Um, I'm going to quickly look at the photo again and then I will be back and do as much as I can. Okay so I've just marked out where I want the lines to go, the straight lines anyway so it would be a little bit easier and now I just need to draw them in and hope for the best. heavily hope for the best. I am terrible at doing straight lines because I have such shaky hands half the time but it should be okay. I'm going to attempt to do this one first and then I will be back. Okay, that was harder than I thought it would be, but I cleaned it up the best I could and did it the best I could. I did use a different eyeliner that's got a lot more of like a felt tip type of point to try and like draw out the lines because the curved lines are a lot harder than the straight with them being curved. And the lines get thicker, they get thinner. But I don't think it's that bad and now I just need the other side to do and then we're good.
once you've done one side it's normally easier to do the other and I've learned I need to keep using the eyeliner like keep dipping it in so it doesn't fade and then I can get a nice clean line Okay, that line isn't terrible. I think it's quite alright. That line wasn't terrible either. I told you, once you do it once, it's a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to finish it off real quickly and then I will be back. All right, I have completely finished. I will probably put some photos up about this for like a better look since the quality isn't the best and I can't really show well. Um, but that is it. Um, if you have any questions, please do ask in the comments whether that is for this video or for a Q&A. Um, if you have any tips or anything you wanna say, let me know and yeah, hopefully this gets to the right people and hopefully something can happen, but this is the finished look and that is it. I don't know what I'll post next or when that'll be, but it should hopefully be soon. Bye!